Hi, welcome to another quick tip from Think Creative TV. Hope that you enjoy this, and if you do, it'd be great if you could subscribe and click the like button below. But let's get started with our tip of the day. Hey, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can add additional content into our class notebook within Notebook. Now you remember that we created this in Teams, We've now set up our class notebook um, in our learning space. But let's have a look in this situation, how we might want to add in extra pages. Now on a screen, you'll see along the bottom here, um, I'm in the welcome space. We mentioned before about adding in a specific welcome to my students about our specific class. So to do that, I can tap on okay. add, add a new title. Let's just say it's gonna be welcome to our class, etc. Um, and then I can start to add in any content in here as well. Now, this is similar to, to um, you know, any word processing type applications. You've got all the options across the top, you know, bold and, and your fonts, etc. You can also insert uh, specific things. So if I want to insert pictures, I can access my camera. So really useful tool um, to have on your iPad because I can just take photos of, of anything. Uh, so for example, if I just tap on the camera, it's going to give me access to the camera. I can take a photo of, of a book that I think that the students might want to read. Tap done. And that's going to add that then directly into my notes. So it's a really, really quick and easy way to access those things. Similarly with audio, because I've got the microphone built into the device, uh, I can just add in an audio note, just record whatever I'm going to say, yada, 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 stop recording. And that audio recording is, is just added to my note. Files, exactly the same. Um, because I've got this uh, attached to files on my device, any of these files I can add in um, directly into this note. So really, really integrates the, the power of the iPad and the power of Class Notebook all into one. Um, so lots, lots of other things that you can add in here, um, including these fantastic stickers, you know, very, very quick way to give feedback on things and, and just sort of make things a little bit nicer for, for your learners. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can then distribute this page um, to make sure that the students have access to it in their own personal space. Um, in this case, it's it's a welcome page. It could just be that I've created a page which is around learning specifically. So let's say this is learning week one, um, and then I might add in um, <coughs> you know, an activity review, uh, the web article, whatever it might be. Okay, and you can add in and build, build, build. What I want to do is make sure that this goes specifically to my students. So in the class notebook setting at the top here, you'll see that I have some additional um, options. Let's just go through what each one of those then allows me to do. So if I tap on distribute page, I can distribute this page to specific areas of the class notebook. Um, I can deliver this to individual students. So it could be that I'm starting to differentiate my work. It might be that students ask me a specific question. I've created some resources that are useful for, for individual students um, or groups of students, again, from a differentiation point of view. Um, and I also might want to add this to a completely other, uh, another notebook that I've created. Let's imagine that I'm teaching multiple classes in one year group and the resource I've created here is actually something that's going to be useful across a range of students across a range of subjects where I can easily just distribute this. It's going to copy that for me. I'm just going to tap on distribute page. You'll see over on the right hand side comes up with the option of where I want to place that. So just to double check that, uh, you know, this is the thing that you want to share. Where would you like to place that? So I'm just going to say that actually this is going to be a handout. I can tap on that and then I can tap distribute. And then that just behind the scenes is just going to distribute that to the students and add it to their specific um, notebook section uh, for themselves. So if I go back to this and I handed this into handouts, uh, you'll see that that learning week one now has been added to that handout section. So nice and simple, easy way to create things and distribute it directly to students um, in a place that they might want to see it. Um, so you can kind of take ownership of their organization and management.